In this video we are going to model this porcelain cup and as you can see I already prepared the reference images on the reference layer and put them to the right scale and position. If you don't know how to do that then please uh, watch the modeling of Hario water kettle first especially the first part of that video as that one shows exactly how to do that. But for now we assume that that is already done and we're going to start with the curves. My curves layer is activated and the picture references are locked so let's go to the front view and make our first reference curve. Then go to the top view. And as you can see, the uh, cup is a little bit squarish. So I'm going to use the rectangle from center. Press zero, enter. And then hold shift to scale it into a square and choose the rounded option and I'm choosing not the arc but the conic like that And for the top, I'm just using a circle, using projection to project to the end, and then moving that circle without projection to the top. Now use the command continue curve. model the other side of the inside of the cup like that and since the bottom is a little bit hollow as well draw a curve like that turn on the control points and move this one to the end here this one to that end and now I use these two curves as rails for the swept surfaces using sweep 2 this as the cross section like that and you see that this is quite a complex surface with lots of control points and we don't really need that so we're rebuilding it but only in one direction surfaces have two directions uh, u and v and the U direction here is in the direction of the sweep. So let's use rebuild UV. Uh, current layer, delete input. Something like 12 control points in the U direction. And then you have a much more simple, clean surface structure. 
and we can use uh, the command set point to even close this surface by selecting one point and using the cell U to select points in the U direction and then use set point set PT to set in X and Y direction zero And now it looks a little bit pinchy, but we also have to set these points all in the same plane using set point again, but now only in Z direction. And now it's smooth. You can check with EMAP. And you see that it is really smooth. For the bottom, we're using another type of sweep, and that is a rail revolve. This is the profile curve. This is the rail curve, the edge from this to that end. And a planar surf from this and this edge. Then we can join these surfaces together into a single closed polysurface. Now let's model the ear of the cup. Starting once more with a freeform curve. And then pipe this curve. And scale it in the top view to match the width. And it looks like I did something wrong here because the tube is not similar in width. So let's delete this one and do the pipe again. Just type in five and five and then scale it in the top view and use rebuild UV to nine points is okay. Delete the old one. We can change it to the curves layer. Hide that. Turn on the control points. And now rebuild this again in the V direction as well with eight control points. Select the points in the U direction. And use the move UVN tool 
to move them in the normal direction. And then we can tweak with the old and arrow keys a bit. Insert a row of control points. Scale in one direction. And then we can start trimming. So go into ghosted mode and then use split and use this as a cutting object. And then delete these services. And then use this to split with this object. And delete these services and join. Again, it's a closed polar service. And now we can make a blend edge over there. Using preview, set all to three. Normally it's uh, using the rolling ball option, but in this case it doesn't really look nice because you get a small radius and a, and a larger radius, at least visually, over there. And we don't want that, we want a more constant distance, so I'm using distance between rails and that gives you much more uh, even spacing and we do the same for lower edges with a radius of 2 And then our cup is finished.
If you like this video, then please hit the like button. And if you want to see more, then please subscribe for more videos later. Hope to see you again next time, and thanks for watching.